Hey guys, this is Casey Ferris. Thanks for checking out another one of my videos. Today we are talking about whether it's worth it or not to round trip to resolve. Now, you may be thinking, goodness, you already did a video like this. Well, here's the thing. I did a video like this and then some of you were like, mm, no, nope. Um, I think that it's faster to do everything in Premiere than to round trip to resolve. And sometimes that may be totally true, but I wanted to do a little test because I, I'm a nerd, I guess, and uh, wanted to see at what point do the tools in Resolve give you enough of a speed advantage to justify actually moving your project into Resolve. So what I did is pick five shots from this little movie. It's about a minute long. I wanted to do some semi-detailed color grading with some windows and some secondaries, a little bit more advanced than just putting a look on top of it. And I wanted to see how long it took to grade inside of Lumetri without round tripping through any other program versus exporting the whole movie out to Resolve, doing my grades, exporting it again, and importing it back into Premiere. Now, as far as the goals of this grade, I wanted to get a basic look, match all the shots together. I wanted to darken the left part of the screen on the first shot and the third shot. I wanted to brighten up and kind of add some contrast to the gun in the second, fourth, and fifth shots. I wanted to brighten her face in the fifth shot and also sharpen her eyes. This is definitely not the most scientific test in the world. I pretty much just tried to do a decent job of color grading this as fast as I could in Lumetri and then do the same thing in Resolve. So let's have a look at the side-by-side. -side. About 30 seconds in, I'm already grading the project as a whole to establish a look inside of Lumetri and I'm getting my project ready to export for the Resolve workflow. About a minute 40, I've matched my first shot to the rest of my shots, and I'm rendering my project for Resolve. If I go to around 2.30 or 240, I've matched my fourth shot and still rendering on the right. So around three minutes and 30 seconds, I'm starting to darken the left part of shot one, and I'm still rendering on the right. About five minutes in, I'm brightening the gun in Lumetri while I'm opening Resolve on the right. Almost eight minutes in, I've brightened the gun in shot four on the left, and I've just got my project set up in Resolve on the right. About eight minutes and 30 seconds, I'm still working on shot four on the left, and on the right, I've just established a look for my scene. At nine minutes and 50 seconds or so, I've got all my shots matched on the right, and on the left, I'm starting to work on her face. At around 10.30, I start to track her face on the left in Lumetri, and I'm working on secondaries for my first two shots on the right. Around 14 minutes in, I'm drawing a shape around her gun on the left and finishing up shot four on the right. Around 4.30, I start to track her gun in Lumetri, and while it's tracking on the left, I do all of the work on her gun and track the whole shot, as well as all of the work on her eyes and track the whole shot. At 17 minutes and 30 seconds, I'm finished tracking the gun in the fifth shot, and I'm all the way done grading in Resolve, and I set it to render, and I start rendering out of Resolve. I'm still working on the gun in shot five in Lumetri. In around 20 minutes, I'm adjusting the mask for her eyes and putting my sharpening filter on while my render finishes up in Resolve. And as her eye mask is tracking on the left, about 21, almost 22 minutes in, I have my project rendered out of Resolve, imported into Premiere, and ready to go. And then it still takes me four minutes to finish tracking inside of Premiere to get the same result I did in Resolve. So is it faster to stay inside of Premiere and do your grades in Premiere? It seems like for simple stuff, yes, but for more complicated things that take a lot of tracking, it's probably worth it to go into Resolve. Now, a couple additional notes. I rendered the entire one minute movie, not just the shots that I was grading, out of Premiere and into Resolve, and also rendered the entire movie when I brought it back into Premiere. So there's quite a bit of render time that was probably unnecessary. And round tripping through Resolve was still about 20% faster than staying in Premiere. Now, if you wanna go back and adjust something, it might be a little bit more time consuming to go to Resolve and adjust that and render the whole thing out again. So the value in revising your work is something that you might wanna consider when choosing a workflow. Anyway, I thought that was really interesting. Just wanted to share it with you guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, hit like. And for more color grading and post-production tutorials and all of that type of goodness, make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. My name again is Casey Ferris. I'll see you guys later.